When you are left in the dark, figuratively and literally powerless, do not underestimate the power of complaining. Excel customers have complained to us here and to state regulators about sporadic power outages. And today, state regulators, the Public Utilities Commission, started a new investigation. Our Marshall Zellinger introduces us to some of those customers trying to reclaim their power. When a business relies on power, losing the lights can cause anxiety, panic, and terror. The taglines for this arcade game about being left in the dark. All the games, lights, and point of sale machine operate on electricity, of course. Caitlin Braun um, works at Players Pub on Broadway and is also a board member on the Lincoln Broadway Community Neighborhood Organization, which complained to the Public Utilities Commission about several unplanned Excel power outages between Lincoln and Broadway from Bayod to 3rd. You look across the street when you're shutting down because you have no lights, they're on, business as usual, everything's fine on that west side of Broadway. and. This four blocks on, on the east side of Broadway is just like dark again. I get calls from my neighbors across the street that say, hey, I see your power's out again. Can we do anything for you? Blake is also on the neighborhood organization board and lives in the impacted four blocks. Last year, I think we had about six outages. This year, we've had 13 outages so far. We're here this morning to discuss the possibility of the commission opening an investigation. This morning, the PUC opened an investigation into outages following 250 customer complaints since May 1st. Some examples of these extend from the Sterling Ranch area in Littleton to Grand Junction and Palisade from Boulder down to central Denver along the Broadway and out into Plattsville. What we would like is to for them to upgrade the infrastructure. An Excel spokesman counted 10 sustained power outages for the Lincoln Broadway corridor this year, four caused by animals, three by equipment failure, one by weather, one for construction, and the most recent unknown. But Excel did change some fuses. Excel does have a claim form to try to get reimbursement if the outage was due to negligence, not equipment failure or acts of nature. For Caitlin, even filling out the form seems powerless. Businesses buy in bulk. They don't have itemized receipts for, you know, three pounds of meat and here and there. It's pretty easy to look up a day's sales, though, and say, hey, last year, the year before, we made $1,000 on this day. Can we pay us back 1000 bucks?" Excel and their answer to me never blamed flaming digital bird carcasses, by the way, as you saw in that video game. Complaints also came from the Applewood Business Area in Jefferson County, University Hills in Happy Canyon in Denver, Louisville, Boulder, and Sterling Ranch in Littleton. I have Excel's answers I'll be in including in my digital story about why they think those outages happen. Louisville is <laughs> the only one they don't really know at all of all those areas. But it comes down to negligence or is it just typical, like, it happens from time to time. What do we know about whether Excel actually pays out those claims or whether it's a fool's errand to put in that paperwork? Well, I talked briefly on the phone with a business owner of Boulder who says he's filled one out, has no idea what's going on with it. It takes at least 90 days. There's mm -hmm. an investigation that Excel says it does in the paperwork. Mm -hmm. But if it's not because of negligence, I don't think it's any, any money ever gets paid out. But that's something I want to look into is like, do, can you, what's the effort and can you ever get money when sure. the power goes out? Marshall, thank you.